Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Santina here. How are we doing today? Hopefully great. All right, so I'm doing some nachos and some, actually I'm doing flaming Hot Nachos and some multigrain Tostitos. So I'm gonna say a quick grace and get into eating. Father God, I thank you for this beautiful day, oh Lord. I thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Lord, I ask that you bless it for the nourishment of my body. Through Christ Jesus, amen. All right, guys, if it's your first time here, please don't forget to thumbs up the video and go subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Hit that bell icon, so therefore you'll always be notified on your cell phone each time I upload a new video. And if you've already been here before, welcome back. I love to have you guys, you know that. I'm just tipping a bit of this on my nachos because, guys, I really enjoy the spicy stuff. Yes, I do. And I'm having a, actually, this is what I'm having. Girls' Night Out. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, so Girls' Night Out. I'm having the rosé, Girls' Night Out Rosé Shangria. So... I like the rosé, actually. But guess what? I, um, oh my gosh. I had it in the freezer. <laughs> so it could get really, really cold. And check this out. I'm going to have to squeeze the can so it could all come out. That's okay. We'll get the rest later. Wow. I actually dented the can. Anyhow, um, let me get to eating because, oh my God, I'm hungry. Guys, I'm using a different seating and it's kind of too high. Can't even see me all that well. All right, so, oh, what do I have on here? Mm. Mm. Um. I have ranch salsa from President's Choice. Ranch salsa. And I have <clears throat> marble um, cheddar cheese, shredded. I have Jalapeno, mm. lettuce, tomato, onions, and um, ground. I'm using ground beef today, guys. I decided to use some ground beef, so here you go. Have a bite. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. What are you guys having today? What's on your menu? I want to know. Mm. 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 
I know I have no makeup on. Yep. It's hectic. It's hard to see my face. Here you go. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yum. <clears throat> There's even carrots in here. Pickled carrots. Okay. I know. I'm really not talking today. Mm -mm. Not yet. This is really, really good. It is so delicious. Trust me. It's so light and it has a nice fruity flavor. Well, it's a rose, so. Mmm. Um, I don't have anything particular or specific, sorry, to talk about, except, um, Mm. 
my hair guys it's like sometimes you just want to relax and then other times you just want to dress up and look like a doll but today I just look like a house girl that's okay mm. Mm. and this is so good guys as you can see, I'm woofing it up so fast, <laughs> but I was hungry. Mm. What time was that? It's about um, um, I think it's about two thirty in the afternoon. This is the time I usually eat. Have any idea of um sorry I'm sorry <clears throat> mm. never mind the noise in the background my son is in his room on the phone and he's getting a little loud or his friends well <coughs> wow. <coughs> that helped you know went down well. <coughs> this is so good. Yeah, I was I'm gonna ask, um how how do you guys How do you feel about cats? Cats. Yes, the animal cats. Um, the reason why I ask is because I guess some of you know already that I'm afraid of cats. I don't know. I had a bad experience as a child. So, um, well, I didn't have an experience, but something happened when my when I was a child, and from what my neighbor said, that left something um, a fear in me. Um, yeah, it's scary. Like, I'm scared of cats. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm full. This is enough. No way. I can't eat up no more. Oh my God, I'm all twisted up. Look, guys, I'm in my house. I'm lounging in my apartment. So, you know. Holy... Anyway, so um, whenever I'm going to friends' homes or anybody's house for a visit or whatever, because I know I'm afraid of cats, <clears throat> I always ask, do you have any animals? And then um, cats, and then I'll say, any cats, you know, dogs. And... um. 
if they have cats, I can't go there. I usually tell them that I'm allergic only because I feel a little bit embarrassed to say I'm afraid, but I am. I have a big fear of cats. And I don't know, some people are so ignorant. Excuse me, sorry guys. Some people are just so ignorant. I mean, you know someone's afraid of something. Or even if they said they're allergic. Some people that are allergic to stuff, they can die from it, from, you know, from whatever they're allergic to if they walk into, you know, a certain environment with, you know. So how is it that if I tell you that I'm allergic to a cat and I'm supposed to be going to do something at your place, and you know this, I've already told you. And then I turn around and say, I'm scared. You're going to tell me, oh, get over your fears. Um, she's good. She won't hurt you. That's not for you to tell me. I'm afraid. And slash, maybe I have, uh, you know, allergies. Maybe I'm allergic to the fur. Maybe. Again, why would you say just it's okay? You come on, guys. Be <sighs> anyways. Am I overreacting when I say you should advise people before letting them in your home that I do have cats or I do have animals, just in case some people have a fear or have al allergies? Oh wow. My mouth just opened so extremely wide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I know how scared I am. And I know if you owe me so if you offer me a million dollars, this is how scared I am. And I love money. To come to your house and sit with your cat, I'm not going to get a million dollars. That's how scared I am of cats. I have a big fear of cats. I couldn't do it as much as I'd love to. I just wanted to know if how you guys feel about people with fears of animals or fears of any whatever. Leave me a comment in the description box. Let me know if you're in the comment section. Let me know if you have any fears, any phobias, and what would you do if you went to somebody's house before? Um, um, after asking if they had animals or cats and they told you no and then you showed up and there's a puss slash cat, pussy cat walking across the living room floor to the fact that I have to jump up on the people's couch with my feet in the chair. Tell me how you feel. And tell me has, do you have any kind of has anything like that ever happened to you? I just want to know because, you know, mm, it's happened to me. Yeah, let me know how you feel about that. And have you ever experienced any such thing? Yes, my lovelies. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Look, I ate up most of it. So stuff, guys, you don't even understand. Ooh. And I'm cold. Ooh. I'm going to go cover. Let me know if you guys have any such experience or, you know, just let me know how you feel about that. Because 
Mm -mm. I think it's wrong for anybody to allow you to come to their place after you ask and say that you have allergies and say that you're afraid of these, you know, animals. I don't think it's right for anybody to say, don't worry, he won't, he won't touch you or he won't, whatever. Uh, but yet that thing is walking around um, in front of you and uh, you supposedly have uh, allergies. So are they, why, why be so inconsiderate and put you in arms away because you you know you probably allergic like I said. Anyways, guys, I'm going back to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> I got up very early this morning and I wanna just I got up, went out to the groceries, did my groceries. I like to go to the grocery store early Saturday mornings and do my groceries and then come home and just relax. You know what I mean? Because I hate being in the big, the crowd and hustling, bustling, and you know what I mean? Oh, excuse me, sorry. Anyhow, guys, if you enjoy this video, please go right ahead and thumbs it up. Again, share the video with everyone. And keep safe. Continue practicing your social distancing. And, you know, I just learned. I don't like, I don't watch the news. I know I always go on and on. Every time I say bye, I'm still here. I don't usually watch the news, but my girlfriend caught me up this morning and was telling me about the situation that's at hand, C-19, and that um, if I've not been watching the news, and I'm like, no, because I don't like the news. The news is too scary and depressing. Anyhow, basically, um, they were just saying that stuff was escalating. And schools open, the little, the little kitties are back at school. I feel so bad for them. And, you know, they have to just be more careful. You know, they're kids, though. It's hectic and, you know, but the time we're living in, wow. Anyways, guys, um, you know, and I, I realize that hopefully there won't be another big, gigantic, um, outbreak, although, again, like I just mentioned, the stuff is still going and it's going up every day. But let's pray that things will eventually um, slow down a lot more than it is. Or I would say go away, but I can't say that because um, it seems like it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. But just keep safe, guys, and continue to practice your distance. And take care of you. Take care of yourself and your family. And my face looks greasy because I have no makeup on. I am I'm a greasy girl. Hey, guys, do you, if you have any idea what I can use on my face to get rid of um, the grease, because it uh, doesn't matter. I'm always greasy. And I try to use... Um, the makeup that I use, like now that I'm using for, um, from Sephora, it's evidently for combination skin, so it will kind of succumb or um, diminish the, the, the oil on my face, you know, but it's there. So I don't know. If you have any idea what I can use to get rid of um, this oily skin, let me know. Anyways, guys, you have a great one. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. Have a great one. Love you guys. Ciao.